Terran Command has confirmed the existence of a new species. Until further contact is established, Command has designated them Sheevans. The Sheevans have inflicted heavy casualties to both Terran and Vasudan forces in the Beta Cygni and Vega systems, and appear to be making a rapid push into other key systems along the Terran Vasudan front. All contact has been lost with our forces in the IKEA and Ross 128 systems. The Vasudan government has contacted the GTA and proposed a ceasefire. Considering the reports regarding the Vasudan and Terran losses to the Shivans, this should not come as a surprise. Terran Command has not yet responded. Expect to hear more from Terran Command on this later today. All Shivan forces should be considered a serious threat. You are authorized to engage any Shivan ship that stands in the way of your mission objectives. Attempts to establish communication with the Shivans have failed. Intelligence will continue its attempts to learn more about this new adversary. What little information has been learned about Shivan technology concerns their fighter shielding system. The shield system makes them nearly impervious to our ML-16 laser. R&D is currently modifying the Avenger prototype cannon to make it more useful against the shields. Additionally, our fighters cannot target their ships due to our lack of data regarding the Shivan electronic systems. Plans are currently underway to remedy this situation. Terran Intelligence is working around the clock to give us more information. Until then, we have been ordered to move into the Beta Cygni system and monitor any activity. Due to increased encounters with Shivan forces, Terran Command has ordered the Galatea to the Beta Cygni system to monitor Shivan activity. The Galatea has taken quite a beating since her last repair. There isn't time to follow the safest route. The Antares Beta Cygni jump node lies in the center of a dense asteroid field, making it one of the least used jump nodes in the galaxy. Standard procedure would have us circumvent this node completely, requiring two jumps. Now we have no choice. Weapon systems have taken damage from enemy bombers. Galatea should be able to make it through the asteroid field, but Alpha Wing will be deployed to destroy approaching asteroids. Alpha Wing will fly point for the Galatea and destroy any asteroids that cross its flight path. Asteroids that are considered a threat to the Galatea will be marked by white targeting brackets. Destroy these asteroids first. Once the Galatea has jumped out, you are to report to the GTD Bastion, stationed in Antares. The Bastion will take you to Ikea for your next mission. Your wing will rendezvous with the Galatea and Beta Cygni upon completion of that mission. In the event of enemy attack, you are to cover the Galatea's escape from the system at any cost. on a collision path with the Galatea will be auto-targeted with white brackets on your HUD.
incoming. Help me out, Alpha One.
Galatea is in beta Signia. Return to the Bastion. Welcome to the GTD Bastion. We just received a transmission from the Galate. She's doing fine, and the bridge thanks you for the skillful escort through the field. You will rendezvous with her in the Beta Cygni system soon. We are currently underway to the IKEA system for your next mission. For your excellence in destroying the Sheevan fighter while escorting the Plato, as well as your successful escort of the Galate in the asteroid field, we are awarding you the Distinguished Flying Cross. Wear it proudly.